All right, welcome to High Not to Laugh. This is the show where my son's on an edible, and he's supposed to try not to laugh while I try to find a way to make him laugh. Yes. Uh, this one is fake 80s song facts. I wrote these. Um, hopefully, hopefully these they are will, funny. Hopefully they'll tickle his funny bone enough to make him laugh. What, but you have to try not to. All right. And if you laugh, give us a like, a subscribe, hit the notification. You know, like that, share, that should share, be the deal. Share. We'll make you laugh. You share and comment. Yes. And all the and good send stuff. Send to all of your friends. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> the heart of rock and roll is actually frozen in a chamber under Disney World. <laughs> all right. Sure. Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go was actually written about Belinda Carlisle from the Go-Go's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to explain it, but then he laughed. Magic Man was written for Teller of Penn and Teller, and it was so loved by the man that he was speechless ever since. <laughs> That's so stupid. I knew. <laughs> I knew where you were going. And you still laughed. Yes. All Night Long by Lionel Richie was penned after he visited Barrow, Alaska for their two months long night. Oh. <laughs> All night long. So far, That's it's four so for stupid. four. Welcome to the Jungle has just been licensed to a woman's panties company that caters to 70s hairstyles. That's disgusting. Nope, not getting <laughs> it from me from that one. Don't You Forget About Me has been record had been recorded years before its release date. One day, the master tapes were discovered in Simple Mind frontman, Simple Minds frontman Jim Kerr's basement, completely forgotten. What? Don't what? you forget about me? They found the tapes completely forgotten. Oh. It's a play on words. I was like, what's the basement have to do with this? On average, whenever Queen and David Bowie play, their hit Under Pressure is played on the radio, 2.3 people go add Ice Ice Baby to a playlist on iTunes. That's true. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> um, the song Hangin' Tough by the biggest boy band of the 80s, The New Kids on the Block, was meant to be a comedy song because none of them were tough, and due to their ages, only one could hang past 8.30 at night. What? Because they were kids. Oh. They were literally kids. Never. 96.2 of all American males over six years old in 1984 made the same joke about the song Beat It by pointing out Michael Jackson wore one glove. And they yeah. thought they were being original. I've heard that. Right? Like, yeah. But I'm saying every kid thought that Everybody they Everybody was came like, oh, I get it, because he wears one glove and he sang that song. And Weird Al's record label insisted he not make fun of Robert Palmer with a comical take on heroin. So his song, Addicted to Drugs, was never recorded. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. So that was <laughs> High Not to Laugh That's this terrible. week uh, for this episode. And as always, High Not to Laugh was brought to you by the letters H-I-G-H and the number 420.